Hi friends, this is Ashutosh Mahanti and I will give you a short lecture on V by F method which is used for speed control of a three phase induction motor. It is speed control of three phase induction motor using V by F method. Now in this lecture I will also give you some real practical data which is obtained from an experiment of this topic. So at first I will give you a very brief theory about what happens in this variable frequency method. So let us begin with a basic a very basic formula of EMF which is equal to 4.44 frequency into maximum flux into number of turns. This number of turns depends upon the motor you are using and this number of turns are generally fixed. It is a mechanical design. So I can write this formula as let me explain this formula for you first. This E is the induced EMF. This 4.44 is a constant which can be derived from the equation and this is the frequency of the supply frequency. In India we have 50 Hz frequency and this is the maximum flux. It depends upon the EMF and the frequency of the system. And this is the number of turns as I explained earlier. So I can write this formula as V equal to 4.44 phi fm into n. Now this V is the applied voltage. So I can write it V by F equal to 4.44 into phi m into n. Generally for an induction motor this, uh, this whole term is actually a constant. So we can write that V by F is equal to constant. Fine. Now let us uh, concentrate our topic on some concepts like like how will be the method? I mean what is the practical significance of this thing? So let us first do this by drawing a graph. V this is the frequency axis this is the voltage axis ok so this V by F is actually a slope and when any slope is constant which means that the tan theta is constant so up till how this will be constant so we have to first write this is the rated frequency which is 50 Hz and this is the rated voltage let's say for a three phase system it can be 400 voltage so we have to draw this according to our system parameters okay. see this is for the voltage curve against a variable frequency now as you can see is that when the frequency is increased up till rated value the voltage increases but beyond the rated value the voltage is constant. Now this is the characteristic equation of a V by F control of 3 phase induction motor. Now let us concentrate on another ba very basic concept which is torque and omega. So we can say that output power is equal to torque into omega, right? Here P is equal to output power and uh, here P is the output power and T is equal to, you can see it is a load torque or simply torque for basic fundamentals and omega is the angle or you can see the omega equal to 2 pi f 
so it is actually the frequency you can delete it easily from the graph now uh, what I will do is that I will show you that how uh, torque and power will change in this entire graph okay now beginning I want to also uh, give you the basic concept of this frequency now there will be many questions like we students we also have many questions about the frequency now for an induction motor this frequency is also called the synchronous wave frequency now we represent synchronous frequency synchronous frequency or you can call it speed equal to 120 into f divided by p now the synchronous speed is equal to 120 into f that is the supply frequency and into the number of poles okay now this is how this synchronous speed comes and where this is where the frequency of the system really matters um, this is the pole numbers let's not confuse it with the power I have written here this is the number of poles number of poles okay let me write it very neatly because this is a very important formula now let us come to the graph we have drawn here here I said that this is the axis for voltage this is the axis for frequency now I will draw the power curve so how will my power curve be let's see here here the voltage is increasing the torque is constant this is why this, this v by f is constant it means that the torque in this region is constant after the radial frequency the torque will decrease so this is the graph of torque simple now see here the torque is constant constant the frequency is increasing means omega is increasing let me repeat it in this figure the torque is constant and in this portion the omega is increasing so the first case torque constant omega increasing means the power will increase so let me now draw the power curve so the power curve will be like this it will increase now after this region after the rated frequency what will be the nature of the power curve the graph tells us the torque decreases and frequency increases the torque decreases and the frequency increases so now our power curve will be a constant straight line this is the power so friends I have shown you that how easily you can plot the voltage power and torque versus frequency in a v by f controlled v by f controlled speed of an three phase induction motor thank you